Welcome to Wash Tall Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike. We're in my kitchen, but we're getting ready to go out because Waddles is out there complaining. We got to go throw him a little scratch. Oh, I got some work to do today. Let's go over that real quick. Uh, if you watch my other channel, you know I'm redoing my kitchen. I added a additional counter here. Now there's going to be a butcher block. Nice piece of butcher block goes right there. And, well, this is kind of full of my air fryers and such. And a piece of butcher block here. Now what I got to do before I continue on with this counter is pull it back out, tear this cabinet out, and then I'm gonna build some short cabinets. Probably I gotta I gotta deal with this. So probably about from here, you know, about from here on, I'm gonna build some cabinets. I like that cabinet, but it's gotta go. It ain't gonna work with the centering. That's about where the induction oven will be. That's just a piece of that's just a piece of that counter I, I cut out holding it temporarily but I have a vent hood that goes here so I want it centered and I want some little cabinets so I gotta pull this out so I can be in there don't have to lean over to work I, I will build them like I built these cabinets directly onto the wall and uh, get them to match alright let's go on out there and feed Mr. Waddles and company doing something a little different this morning guys Please ignore the mess in here. Supposed to get a bunch of rain today. But I don't know. They said that yesterday. We didn't get nothing. What's all the ruckus about, Waddles? I put my contacts in. But I don't think one's in my left eye. So now I gotta go back in there and look for it. Alright, I keep this bungee cord on there to keep the critters out I've had stray dogs come up here and try to get in there yes dogs will eat the egg pellets come on waddles y'all got some good clean rain water there best thing in the world for them all right put this dude back on oh Hard to do with one hand. There they come. It's a beautiful morning. Got some fog over there on the top of the mountain. All right, I'm going to pause this, guys, and go look for that contact before I forget about it. Because it ain't in my eyeball. Come on, Waddles. It takes him a minute. He ain't the most graceful chicken in the world. All right, turns out contact was in my eye. Now I put it back in. It's even worse. But, if, you know, I'm going to give you a hint. If you wear contacts and you lose one, I'm going to teach you the surefire way of how to find it. All you do is you go in the area where you were putting them in and you go, Here, contact, contact, contact. That's all you do. Contact will raise its finger. Yo, man, right here true story i don't believe me do you all right back to the kitchen so i gotta get to work man so far we got the new counter somewhat installed i gotta put the trim on the trim around the top and uh, splash all that rigmarole i'm gonna make a splash out of that for both ends got the new sink installed i've taken these cabinet doors off i'm gonna be taking them all off sanding them down making them look fresh there's going to be drawers here, but what I did when I put this together, I knew I measured right for the existing drawers I have, and I'm going to build two more for over here. That 2x4 stud needs to be moved to the inside, right here. Then the measurements will line up for the cabinet drawer pulls. And I don't know where I put them, but if you got, if you ever do a tear out, if you ever do a tear out of old cabinets, keep the drawer pulls. The slides that they go in, them things are expensive and they can be reused over and over and over. So I, I found some, I think when I tore out the kitchen here originally, I saved them all. Where the rest of them are, I, I don't know. Probably got thrown in a junk pile. I don't know. And then this room, 
but it is now the pantry it used to be the office you can see still got the bulletin board up it's kind of a catch-all right now until i get things organized but uh yeah that's where i got my canned goods i'm storing a lot of my pots and pans i'll be storing more of my pots and pans when i tear that cabinet out but uh you know i'm trying to come up with a way where i may take this shelf and come out just a foot or so out from the wall and come this way with it and then another one just like this one here with an aisle to go here and here but i don't i don't know about that yet honestly if i have two shelves this size i got plenty of food for myself especially if i'm stocking a lot of canned goods uh dried beans pasta and then those are full of yeah i got ramen noodles in them dried beans rice uh you know gotta gotta think of it this way guys if something happens bad enough where you can no longer buy food or get food how long do you really want to live in that world you know i mean just if you got a year's worth of food that's fine but be prepared to defend it that's right uh if you move out in rural arkansas like i have okay I grew up just a few hours from here, so this is kind of, it's not my neck of the woods, it's, it's, it's different, it's different, but I'm better prepared for this than say somebody moving from LA or New York or somewhere, because you're going to move here and you're going to be in a complete culture shock, and if you're one of them type people that are anti-Second Amendment, or, you know, you ain't going to do well here you are not going to do well in this kind of situation i ain't trying to scare people but that's the truth you better be able and ready to defend what you have because you're not going to be the welcome wagon will not be out for you if you're an outsider in these counties in arkansas most of them maybe you can move to little rock and fit in but you're not moving to these rural communities have been here since the mid 1800s it's just not and the same families are here you're they know they know you're here and they know you ain't from here so that's something to consider that's why i don't try to encourage people out there to move here other channels do it people are moving here left and right and they're finding out it's not all peaches and cream and it ain't just keep that in mind if you if you're and that's that's not just arkansas that's any rural community where people have been established for years. Um, you need to consider that. I mean, that's their place and you're invading it. So if you, you know, not saying they won't accept you, but you better not come there with the wrong ideals and different political outlooks as them. And if you do, you better keep that to yourself because that is something you do not want to start trouble with. That's just the way it is. And also, you know, you better learn how to do stuff and not depend on other people to do it for you. Which what I mean is, if you don't know electrical work and you bought a place like I did that needs everything redone, well, you better figure out how to do it yourself so you don't have to depend on other people because other people come at their schedule. And if you want to get something done, you need to get it done on your on your schedule so if you if you're unable to do any kind of if you don't have any skills whatsoever then you probably might consider uh staying in the city you know where you can call a plumber or call an electrician anything you need done you know i put this floor in guys that's the last thing i thought i could do i, I thought it would kill my body <laughs> and you know what it wasn't that bad it was not that bad i'm going to be pulling this whole living room up and redoing it because i don't like the gaps when i put this down uh the the flooring was not the right temperature who do we got here what's with that milk bone you didn't want that piece she's not talking to me this morning she's grumpy all right Let's go see what them other dogs are up to. In the morning, these guys always get a milk bone. You know, you got to get something in their bellies. <laughs> yeah, you got to get something in your bellies, right, boy? Get your bellies kicked off. Look at you. 
There's Miss Lily. There's your baby girl. There's Lazy Boys. Yeah, it's easier if you sit up to eat it. You guys drank a lot of water last night. I'll get you some fresh. I got two more to distribute. I'll make them come to me. This room's a mess. This room's always a mess. Ooh, shut that door, man. I want Waldo getting out and causing a stir. Come on, girls. Come get your milk bones. Come on. They got a brand new summer bucket lit yesterday. Well, I guess I'll have to go to them. Where are you girls at? What are you doing over there? Come on. Where's, the, where's the Melly? You in there, Melly? Where you at, Melly? She's not in there. Them girls been up early. Where's Melly? You. Where's your sister? Well, Melly's out and about. That stuff stinks, man. I dumped all them buckets. And when they're in them buckets for a couple of years, yeah, they don't smell too good. So maybe gardening in containers is not such a good idea. Maybe you got to recycle the... I had some rain. Dump that. I don't know where Melly's at. Where you at, Melly? She's around somewhere. There's a rabbit. Ah, look at that fresh green up there. Birds is chirping. Figured y'all might appreciate a out and about video on the coffee this morning. Are you following me? Where's your sister? You don't know? You're covering for her again, ain't you? I don't know what she's doing. Let's just listen to the birds for a minute. And the frogs. Very cloudy day. That old dead pine tree's been very popular lately with the old birds. I need to knock it down, but it's right on the property line where there's the neighbor's fence. And I don't really want to put up new fence if it falls the other way. But the nice thing about them pines, that thing was a lot taller than that. They start falling from the top and the limbs will start breaking off. As you can see, there's a lot less limbs. And then the part of the top will break off. They break off a little bit at a time, so they're not real super dangerous, although they can be, but they usually come down a little bit at a time instead of falling all at once. We got some wildfires out this morning. How you, how you fires doing this morning? All right, how you doing, Mike? Y'all ever have. Bet y'all never had talking flowers at your place, have you? Uh, all right. Well, where is your sister? Dogs cover for each other. I don't know why. They'll also snitch on each other all the time. All right. So, if you didn't see in the other video, I'm not doing a garden this year. Uh, and let me tell you why. It's just... You know, as I explained, it's just so much work for so little yield. The weather here is so bad for gardening. And I'm sure others have better luck than I do. I am not an expert gardener by any means. But I just, it just it wasn't enough to make it worth it to me. i got other projects in mind. I don't want to have to deal with the garden. If I want to take a day trip, I don't have to deal with the garden. It's just not in me anymore. And uh, a lot of you are going, well, then you're not a homesteader. Well, I never claimed to be a homesteader. That's a title YouTube has put on people uh, way too much. And now everybody's jumping on the wagon. I want to be a homesteader. Well, that's fine if you want to do that. But, well, and where were you, young lady? 
how do you know that I have something for you? She says, I just know. Look at that tail. You guys wouldn't even have known this dog a year ago. And she's been some, she's, she's, she's been, I wouldn't say she's been in trouble, but she's kept me hopping. Puppies, all kinds of stuff. She ran away for two and a half months. Yeah, and then she comes back and acts like nothing ever happened. Didn't you, Millie? Till, ah, uh, Tilly, don't you get her piece? Yeah. You did. You found a piece of her milk bone. Well, that's all right, because she gets pieces of yours. And there's another piece there, Melly. Yeah. All right, guys. I don't know what I was yakking about, but, you know, just because I'm not gardening a year doesn't mean anything. I'm just not going to garden this year. Sometimes it's good to give give things a break if you're not enjoying them, and I wasn't enjoying it. Uh, my seedlings I planted, they're not doing well, so they're not going to get used. Uh, I neglected them because I was so busy with other projects, and that's just how it gets. So well, I'm going to leave it here. I'll leave you with this. Happy trails. Woodpecker. <laughs>